Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn about the smart querying and how you can search the issues within any project using the smart query or the issues which are overdue or issues which are reported by someone or by yourself. Okay, so let's understand these three examples. So as we have understood previously to start the smart query, it's basically on top of your quick search. So if say for example, I want to find all the issues in a project, I can simply use the project key. I know there is one of the project which is RT, which has the key RT. If I simply enter the key of the project and hit enter, you will see that it gets mapped to the project. Okay, so project is equal to RT because RT is one of the key for the project within Jira instance that I'm using, right? So I've created this project, the key was RT and you will see all of the issues that are displayed here are from this particular project, right? So this is how you are going to quickly search all the issues within a project with the project key. Now, if I want to only search the issues within this project, which are of type story. So I'll say RT and then simply say story, right? And I can add any number of keywords there. So if I want to say, I want all the stories within the project RT, which has the key RT, and the story priority is medium. I can say that, right? And that's it, right? So in this case, it will filter all the issues within the project RT, okay? Issue type will be story and the priority is medium, okay? So I can also add the status. So I can say RT and then story, all the stories within the project RT, which are of the priority medium and which are not done or basically which are done let's say right so i can simply say done and it will filter all the issues within the project rt that are medium priority and have the status as done okay if i want to find all the open issues within this particular project so i can say rt open and that should give me all the issues that are in the open state, right? So there are no issues which are in the open state. So it is not giving me any of the results there, right? Because there is no status open in this particular project. Okay. So that's how we'll search all the issues within a project or filter the issues quickly using the smart query. Now, if say, for example, I want to filter all the issues that are being reported by myself. Okay. So I'll say R. So R is for reporter and then colon and say, for example, uh, I think it's my and then it will filter all the issues. Uh, no, it's M E. So R and then me should filter all the issues that are being reported by myself, right? So it's not my in this case, it is basically me when I say R colon, it's not my because usually it's my, but then with the reporter, it is me. So anything reported by me will be displayed in this case when I want to search for the reporter. Okay. Now, if I want to search for issues that have been reported by someone else, same thing, R colon and the username of the person for whom you want to fi filter issues, right? So say, for example, I have one of the user, which is admin. Okay. I want to get all the issues which are reported by admin, then R colon the username, which is the admin. And then you will see all the issues that have been report uh, reported by admin will be displayed here. Now I can add any number of criteria there. If I want to only include the priority highest or, or status, I can say, yes, a reporter is admin. And after that, I can say the status is done and the priority is medium, say for example, right? So medium. In that case, it will filter only the status, only the issues that are reported by admin, right? So report is admin, priority is medium and status is done. If you see here all the results, right? So this is basically how you are going to filter the issues that are being reported by someone. Okay. Now, if I want to filter based on the project as well, I can use the project key as well in this smart query as well. Okay. So playing around with all of these queries, smart queries will give you a lot more confidence. I'm explaining all the concepts here, but the more you play around with the concept, it will be more clear. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to cover here is if how do you find the overdue issues, right? So 
the keyword is simple overdue that's it if you search overdue or in the smart in the quick search just search for the overdue okay just type in overdue and enter and you will see that it has automatically created a query for overdue and you will see that these were the due cases and they are already overdue and they are being displayed in the result now right so this is basically how you are going to search for overdue issues now if i want to combine all of this so say for example i want all the overdue issues in the project rt right so rt overdue okay so in that case it will only filter overdue issues that are in the project rt so there were no overdue issues in the project rt so let's see which project has these overdue issues let me search all the issues that are overdue and here there are overdue issues in rns project right so i can just filter maybe based on the status so so project so rns right and then i want to see which statuses have been marked as done but then they were overdue right so something like that so the project key and then the status right so you'll see the project key project status done and then that are overdue okay so this is basically how you are going to use the smart query for different scenarios whether you want to search all the issues in a project or whether you want to combine with different criterias within the project whether you want to find the overdue issues you, the keyword is overdue okay and for the issue finding for a particular reporter for whether it's yourself it is r colon and me for yourself for the person who is logged in and r colon the username of the person within the jira instance for which you want to find the issues that are reported by that person right so that's all for this particular tutorial on smart querying for issues within a particular project whether they are overdue and the issues that are being reported by yourself or any member of the team so thank you very much for watching see you in the next lecture